The alien invasion was endless. On board the UNSF Omaha, Commander Elena Stewart led Earth's last desperate retaliation. During the final assault on the jump gate, the Omaha was lost. Her commander and crew never seen again. pirate activity in this sector. I can't guarantee its safety. This thing is important, isn't it? Pirates! Sector 41. That's near the jump gate. Pirates! Woo! Rusty lock us on. Lee, raise sector command and tell them that the Cortez is on the job. Whether they like it or not? All in favor? Aye, aye. aye. Whether they like it or not? ICE ETA. Marshal Jenkins. Prep the weapon system. Drought is over. the mercury all right damn look beat us again speak of the devil guys <laughs> too late flynn as usual i hear there's a triple bounty on this one get me sergeant Steele. i already have a team down on the surface stick around you might learn something now stay out of my way screw him lee how about a party line? You got it. Get me, Steele. Steele, report. Commander, there are no survivors. I've never seen pirates do anything like this. The laser scrape on the interior is... Uh, it's unidentifiable. If these are pirates, they're Where's using... the artifact? Artifact? It's not here. What the hell? Don't lose them. Marshal, the turrets. Jenkins! Get after them. Move! Open it up, Rusty. We're running too hot. We're gonna hit the jump gate. Cut the engine. Retro, now! Lynn, we can't do it. Hang on! That's old knock the propulsion masers out of alignment. Right now we got about 20% engine thrust max. I'll get right on the repairs. Captain, I thought this was to be a routine drop and rescue. You know your everyday pirate hunt. What's going on up there? I've got engine calling in from all over the ship. <sighs> Regen should take about an hour. Are you sure Miss Briggs is old enough to drive? Flynn, I opened the box. What a find. I mean, check this out. This is pre-invasion. Elena Stewart, UNSF Omaha. I mean, I'm holding history. You know, some kind of log. And, but this, this is a transmitter. It's old Earth technology. It generates modulateral light waves. It's great for deactivating field generators, but not much else. 
Flynn, okay, that Brunson thing, it's tucked away. I'll get to him later. As for this one here, well, she's not human. Look, I've never seen anything like it. I'll run a few tests. We found two. One's human, I think. The other one, well, you tell me. Ta-da! Did you find them like this? <laughs> no, I asked him if they knew any tricks. Put something under that thing and cut her down. Devoted little bugger, is he? Man's best friend. Does she understand us? Now you're not gonna spit acid on me or anything like that, right? What is that thing? Brunchen. He's not a thing. And what are you? We'll talk later. Bring her up. The Brunchen comes with me. Why not? But he stays with the cargo. I want to know what's in that box. Ice, we're on our way. And tell Dr. Midas I've got a bug for his collection. This is Commander Elena Stewart of the UNSF Omaha. The Paracotta forces have penetrated our last lines of defense. It's over for us here. This is what we know. Damage to the Omaha forced us down to this planet. Without the right code to the jump gate, we were marooned. An alien race called the Sensei has captured some of my crew and placed them in a prison colony on the ice planet. The prison has a, a protection of an impenetrable force field. At least we couldn't get through it. The arrival of the Paracotta Swarm makes further rescue attempts impossible. We have friends here, friends who share the same enemy. An enemy more feared than the Paracotta, more intelligent and cruel. And now, shipmates, without our dogs and murderers, and that's about all. Commander Stewart, the phase decoupling transmitter is ready. This baby transmits a modulateral light pulse to the force field generator, knocking it out. However, the array of generators must be deactivated in a particular pattern. I've narrowed the patterns down to three possibilities. Decoding the Sensei is a bitch. I'm taking your team down to the prison planet to give it a try. Wish us luck. Installed the transmitter in your ship config bunker. It's got my seal of approval. According to the Omaha data, you need the transmitter to decouple the energy field on the blue planet, the uh, planet with the prison. The pattern must be a what a road map of the field generators. You better follow that map, Captain. No telling what kind of booby traps they got set up. What's the status, Doc? It sucks. There's going to be a lot more before we're through. Get him turned around. To this and Avery, I'm fully aware of the current situation. What would I do without you? You would perish. Jeez. Ice. I want to see the Omaha data as soon as I reach the bridge. I am processing the data now. Hang a I bell on that thing. Please. There are several key points of interest. It seems that Stop later. Who survived the crash. Flip! 
Why did you let Rusty pull us out? We were holding our own. Rusty calls the shots when I'm on a drop. You know the... She's a kid. The Omaha is a fairy tale to her. I needed more time inside. I'm going back in. We got the data banks. Mission accomplished. You didn't go inside, Flynn. There weren't any bodies. Where did they go? Easy does it. English. You speak English. Fracta English. English. I'm Councillor Bob. At your service, I speak 27 languages. Oh, is that real cotton? You're from the Omaha. Omaha. That's right. That's right. Omaha. Omaha. Slews. Five dialects between them. I translate everything. <gasps> this is heaven. Elena, you have to feel this. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, forgive me, Counselor Elena Stewart. Commander oh. Elena Stewart? She's a counselor now. First counselor to the... I'm Mike. Captain Avery Flynn, commander of the Cortez. I must have read your story a thousand times ever since I was about... Well, maybe. My benefactor, in car. The great Bin Car says thank you. Your head should be separated. And yeah, that's a good thing. You have made free many innocent people. I'm thrilled. Kelly, Opta Ektar. Is this your army? More or less. Go home. Can't. We're sort of stuck here. Besides, we're chasing this artifact thingy. It's kind of valuable. Uh, can you help us? Perhaps. The, the great Ben Carr would love to dine with you. Thank you for asking. Work with me on this. He's very powerful. Eats like a slew, but he's the boss. Yep. Well, he loves hearing about Earth. What about them? Oh, meat. Get us back. They do not matter. Jenkins! Jenkins! Bin Carr believes that his great enemy, the Sensai, are also your enemy. Sorry, Pop! Sensai! Bin Carr knows that you search for the Nam Shar. The Nam what? Shar. It's a Crydox derivative of the Sensai. The thingy you call the artifact? It would be catastrophic for Earth. Earth! If it ever reached the Sensai world. The Nam Shar is very powerful. I'm sorry, but we cannot allow you to take it. Binkar himself was on his way to retrieve it and return it to the Krydox temple, its rightful place, when he was unjustly imprisoned by the Sensai. A violation of table manners, no doubt. You know, we picked up a young woman who, well, she looks human, but she has eyes like our alien friend here. Alexandra? Alexandra? Call it fuck! Bad Betty! No, no dessert for you. Isn't he cute? We can't take him anywhere. His mother and I have had it up to here. Will you help the cry dogs reclaim their idol? Who are these cry dogs? Priests or something? Cry dogs. And yes, they are a bit like priests, but their belief system is in danger of extinction if we don't. This has nothing to do with us. Excuse me. She's right. We need to find a way back through that gate. No money in it, eh, Flynn? Ben Carr has the jump gate code to his home solar system, where he has friends. Friends who know things, like codes. Flynn, you're the only one who can help.
Captain, I have examined Our Lady Prisoner Alexandra. There are some intriguing similarities to Bing Carr. Bing Carr? She doesn't think much of Mr. Bing Carr. I will kill this man if anyone interferes. I want the bruncheon and the vehicle. Bing Carr, you will never own the Nomshar. Hello? Hello? Grumman! Fuck! Kelly! Oh! Get for your head! You ass. I've got to get out of here. Watch this. Captain, um, Captain, the great Bin Carr is very displeased with his sleeping arrangements. I am a mere counselor and dare not share the same room with him. There must be something else. I beg you! Nick! Oh, me truck! Nick, sensei, Tesla! Yeah, he requests that you rescue his political advisor, Truck, uh. from the hands of the sensei. He, uh, in his absence, the sensei conquered Ben Carr's planet, Tesla. They plan to execute Truck for his uh, political reasons. Truck can get you the jump gate codes you need, Captain. We should be approaching Tesla soon. We're running out of time, Captain. And the Nam Shah's not getting any closer. Lynn's first name is Avery. Avery. Even. Get the doctor down and let's get the hell out of here. Ice, we have the doctor. He'll make the business end of a turnaround. I'll need a long shower. Great news, Captain. The sniper is Joe Bett. Envoy extraordinaire to the Sensei Council. <laughs> it's information time. Counselor Truck has offered to uh, insist on questioning the old guy. Yeah, the envoy must know the whereabouts of the Namshar. <gasps> it's showtime! May I present Truck? First political advisor to the great, Bin Kai. Tell Rusty we found Mr. Wright. Kali Crux Strike Big Strong Yuck. Counselor Truck says thank you. And he adds. I know, I know, I should separate my head. I keep meaning to do that. Make sure. These sensei aren't so tough. He kind of looks like Bin Carr's little brother. Ice. Better prep the turnaround unit. 
I want to talk to this Sensei. Lieutenant Briggs. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> we have the jump gate code to the Brunchin system. Look, that's good news, counselor. The Brunchin have taken the Namshar, but Joel Beck will divulge his whereabouts. Uh, counselor Truck needs to take a little rest, and Joel Beck is beat. <laughs> a beat. <laughs> a golly, Craig, Alec. <laughs> Great. Good old Joel Bett, wealth of information. The Sensei had employed the Brunchin to retrieve the Nam Shar. But those four-legged tin can good-for-nothing Brunchins are holding out for a higher fee, so they've divided the Nam Shar into three different parts and are holding them on the three planets of the system. Never trust a Brunchin. Oh, um, we won't be getting any more information from Joel Bett. He died. Weak heart. Unfortunate. Captain, I got a piece of the Nam Shar. It's in good shape as far as I can tell. Well, except for a little dirt. Captain, this section of the Nam Shar looks good. Hope you don't mind if I poke around a little. my ship. Go home. I'm trying. You need the doctor. Uh, let's do this again. Real soon. I'm no sense I'm medicine man, but I swear old Joe Bet is still alive. I have analyzed the audio sample. It is a signal used over 20 years ago by personnel on the UNSF Omaha. Great. This is just perfect. The hero arrives. Mr. Flyboy zooms in to save the day. Who and the hell I, are you? I'm the doctor. Dr. Ishido Yamada of the UNSF Omaha. Biscuit? I made them myself. Great. Hey, listen, I'm kind An of... An idiot! 20 years studying the Paracata and the Sensai, right under their very noses. And then you bring them down on top of me! 
Hey, listen, Doc, calm down. Nobody followed me, okay? What? Listen. Nothing. They've never been this close. I made them myself. The Paracotta have this little bone in their reproductive organs. Come on. That's very sensitive. That way. Captain, it's a job well done, if I do say so myself. The sniper Joe Bet is quite recovered. And Captain, he speaks English. How do you do? I suppose I should thank you. Tell him about the hyperdrive ship. You see, the hyperdrive ship is ready for departure. But without the Nam Shar, well, I guess we just won't be going anywhere. And about the Sensei Exodus to a safe world. You see, we, the Sensei, are preparing to leave this treacherous world. The hyperdrive ship, powered by the Nam Shar, will transport what's left of the Sensai race to a safe world. The Cry Docks priests will now turn the Nam Shar against the Sensai, brutally and mercilessly. You should have let me die. This is Commander Amanda Stewart. Swanny, you boy. I just can't you read me. I'm in trouble down here. Oh. Oh, Steve, please, come in. Come on, it's my I have an shot. I think I got a handle on this now. The Cree docks are controlling the paracotta in a limited way through a, through a paracotta brain. High brain. The Cree docks priests are using those monsters. The paracotta using the paracotta to corral the sensei into the Credox. I mean, hell, they're scaring the pejesus out of the sensei just to get them to join Club Credox. And if they don't want to join, well, that's where the Nam Shar comes in real handy. The only thing stopping the paracotta from turning on the Credox is that brain hive. Hive brain. I think you ought to knock out that hive brain. Let's turn the paracotta loose on these Credox evangelists. No response from Counselor Stewart. I don't know, Flynn. Letting her sit down there may have been a mistake. Terracotta forces are headed straight for Credox. Mission accomplished, Captain. Yeah, maybe, but Stewart is right in their path. Getting around is going to be tough now. Flynn can do I it. I never said he could. You just said it was going to be Enough! Wrong. Why am I still tied up? We're asking the questions. There is no time for this nonsense. I have to get the Nomshar to the Sensai. You have to understand. What are you up to, Count? The, the Sensai? Sensai? Yes. I used the cry docks to transport the Nomshar to this system. From here, it's an easy jump to Sensai. The tough part was getting the Nomshar out. I would have escaped, but Bob double-crossed me, and I... Well, if it hadn't been for you... I don't trust her. I couldn't tell you. Couldn't take the chance. Look, I'm sorry. The Sensai race is in danger of extinction. The Paracotta have ravaged the Sensai for centuries. Now the Crydox are joining in. The Nomshar is their only hope of survival. They need it to power the hyperdrive ship. The ship is waiting. The Sensai are waiting. Who won the World Series in 41? Flynn, we are running out of time. Tokyo. Over the Sox in seven. Works for me. Cut her loose. Hey, how about that fifth inning? Valdez! What are you doing? You heard the lady. We're running out of time. The Nom Shari, it's in my... Got it. Thank you. 
Now don't make me regret this. The code. Where's the code? The Paracotta are storming over the Crydox world. Our plan worked. Those Crydox priests will have their hands full for a long time. Since outlying Sensei colonies have been wiped out by the Paracotta hordes, the remaining Sensei are building a hyperdrive ship to transport what's left of their race to a new world. They need the Namshar to power the hyperdrive. This may be our only chance to get the Namshar back to the Sensei. Captain Flynn, your separation precedes you. It is recounted you are an admirable soldier. You outwitted the Crydox priests and are returning the Gnome Shah to us, to the Sensei. You will forgive if my adulation is unseen until the Gnome Shah is safe. My most trusted general will command a fleet of Brunchen soldiers to protect your safe arrival. I am seeing forward to your appearance. Captain, do we really need help from the Sensei General and the Brunchen mercenaries? I just don't trust them. Captain, listen to this. The jump gates are powered by a single source. That source is located on a Sensai moon called Drimmen. I can't find a single moon in this whole system. Drimmen is sacred to the Sensai. They have the power to turn off the jump gates and stop the Paracotta attack. But they refuse to disturb the ancient grounds of Drimmen. Anyway, the Nam Shah is ready for delivery. Rusty, anything on Jenkins yet? Nothing. We'll keep on it. Engineering. Captain, anything on Jenkins? Tell me again about the jump gate power source. Well, all I could... It's on the moon called Drimmen, but you won't find it. The entire moon is cloaked. If you did find the moon and destroy the power source, you would destroy all the jump gates. You can't be serious. Dead serious. It's our only chance at getting to Jenkins. It's the only chance for the Sensei, too. They're being overrun, and unless Thank we... Thank you, Captain Flynn. We appreciate it. You? May I present the most trusted Sensei General. She's a damn good pilot, too. Alexandra. She brings bad news. She is bad news. The Brunchen have fled. Do not count on them for any more help. Do not trust them. Captain, a significant eruption has just occurred on the dark side of Sensei. The cloaking mechanism. The Brunchen found the cloaking mechanism. Drimmen will be revealed. The moon. Drimmen's the moon, right? Captain, Counselor Stewart wants to know what we're doing. We're having a picnic. I've got Jenkins. He's alive. Ice. Captain Flynn. Take a look around. Has anything changed? There is a new moon. That's it. Picnic's over. Get Dr. Yamada up here. What are you doing? I'm stopping those Paracotta bastards. They're destroying the jump gate. Get a hovercraft down to Jenkins, but wait until I reach the moon. Maybe I can draw a crowd. Don't your people need you, General? I'm going with you. You are staying right here. Now remember, I want constant contact with Yamada. You, stay. Good girl. Ice, what happened? Why'd we lose contact? Welcome, Captain. Throw down your weapon. Good boy. Now sit. Why do you constantly interfere with my plans? What have I ever done to you? She wants to take her Brunchen army to Earth. Slew. What do you want? She wants everything. You know, women, I... I just want one thing. Bob. I want that shit! 
And you're going to help me get it. Captain, your crew has been very uncooperative. Their loyalty almost brings a tear to my eye. Now, tell Lieutenant Briggs to do as I say. Do as I say. Oh. Okay, I'll do it. What do you want? I want that... Haven't I already said this? Get this tub alongside the Sensei ship. Say hello. Get us inside. You see, Alex, just like I promised, you'll get your daddy's big spaceship. And you'll play along too, Captain. Or else I'll set my brunchin' friends on your crew. <laughs> oh. Very nicely done, Miss Briggs. Or should I say, Rusty? Lieutenant No, Briggs. no, no, please. Don't spoil the moment. Go to hell, Bob. <laughs> You've got the picture now, Captain. This is hell. Did you say butt wipe? Captain, Counselor Bob and that orange-eyed mutant are gone. Captain Flynn, the Sensei would be honored if you'd escort them out of this hostile area. The hyperdrive is stable and we can't wait any longer. Allowing Bob and Alexandra to escape was very foolish. Your presence may be needed when we reach the new world. Conditions there are unknown. All in favor? Aye, aye. Ice. Yes, Captain Flynn. Wake me when we're there. 